You may not have heard of the Moorish Nationals, but police have members claim to follow Moorish science. It comes from a black religious group that's been around for nearly a century. Most of its members obey the law, but not everyone. Chip Reed looks at how some use their religion to justify the crime. This 35,000 square foot mansion in an exclusive corner of Bethesda, Maryland, has 12 bedrooms, 17 bathrooms, and trees planted by President Clinton and Vice President Gore. On the market for nearly $6 million, it's not exactly a steal. So imagine real estate agent Jordan Feinberg's surprise when he learned someone had moved into the vacant property. The owner calls me again and says, the neighbor called their people inside the house claiming they own the house. And I'm like, what? Lamont Butler, a.k.a. Lamont Maurice L., claimed the mansion for himself. He even provided documents issued by the so-called Moorish National Republic to back it up. It's a burglary in the you know, purest sense. Across the country, Butler and many other self-styled Moorish nationals have laid claim to property and status they say is lawfully theirs because their ancestors were here first. In Memphis, Tennessee, Tabitha Gentry staked a claim on this $3 million foreclosed home using heavy chains. Charged with trespassing, burglary, and theft, Gentry, who prefers the name Abka Ray Bay, says as a citizen of the Moorish American National Republic, that land is her land. And this man was arrested by police in Fayetteville, North Carolina, for interfering with a stolen car investigation. But his wife claims the arrest was illegal because he is a member of the Moorish nation. He had diplomatic community. Why are y'all doing it? Moors trace their beliefs to noble Drew Ali, who founded the Moorish Science Temple in Chicago in 1925. With tens of thousands of followers, the faith borrows heavily from Islam. It also teaches that all black Americans are Moorish Americans, descendants of an ancient Moroccan global empire, an idea some followers have taken one step further. So you don't have to get a, a license plate or a driver's license. You can lay claim to property. Spencer Dew, who studies the movement, says Moorish Americans have long taken pride in being American citizens. But as the group splintered over the decades, some offshoots abandoned that view. But I also think we have some opportunistic individuals, um, some sort of lone wolf elements. Jeff Fort is perhaps the most notorious movement member. The former leader of a violent Chicago street gang, he was convicted in 1987 of conspiring with Libya's Gaddafi regime to blow up U.S. government buildings. It's kind of a public relations nightmare. The vast majority of Moorish communities uh, in America are not involved in any of this sovereign citizen uh, ideology, not involved in fraudulent behavior, not involved in criminal acts. As for Butler, he eventually abandoned the Bethesda mansion, but he still faces charges of burglary, theft, and fraud. He's currently out on bond. You know, everybody likes to look at a big, beautiful house, but um, usually you call a realtor to unlock the door for you. For CBS This Morning, Chip Reed, Washington.